Let's move on with our methodological choices and in this video we are going to discuss a choice between quantitative and qualitative research design. Before we begin discussing the choice between these two, um, I have to remind you that we have already made an important choice and that was a choice about research approach. If you have watched my previous video, it is right there. Now either we have chosen didactive or inductive, ultimately abductive research approach. Why am I saying this? The choice of research approach is going to heavily influence the choice of research design, which we are going to do right now. Let's start with quantitative research design. Now, quantitative is going to be, of course, connected with numbers. So my first point here is, if you are not that big of a friend with numbers and mathematics and statistics, well, maybe quantitative will not be the best choice for you because you are going to work with some formulas, maybe even some simple programming, as you will be trying to get some patterns, some information from a raw data. So you'll be working with maybe Excel sheets. So consider this before going into a quantitative research design. If you went for a deductive research approach, then quantitative research design might be very well suited for you because in deductive approach, we are going from theories to a data and we are evaluating these theories on our data. Well, the quantitative design works very well there because you will just collect the data in a way that, that the statistical programs and some statistical evaluations will allow you to consider if these theories work well with the phenomena that you are working with. On the other hand, if you have inductive research approach, then maybe the quantitative research design is not the best choice for you. Because if you think about inductive research approach, you are going from data to the theories. And basically you would end up with a bunch of raw data, most likely numbers. And out of nowhere, you would have to find patterns in these numbers or in these quantitative data. So quantitative research design works very well with deductive approach not that well with inductive approach. Quantitative approach is about examining relationships between variables. And this is maybe the most important sentence about the quantitative research design, and we will come back to it later. Now, let's say that I'm having a quantitative research design and I'm researching, hmm, let's say, how does an investment into an online marketing influences some companies overall revenues. So I'm using a quantitative approach. So I need to define my variables. So one variable will be how much is a company investing into online marketing? That is some number. Now, another variable will be the revenues of this company. That is another quantified number. And now my quantitative research design will examine the relationship between these two variables. And my final advice is, um, when you are going to work with quantitative research design, you are most likely going to work with some uh, software that allows you for uh, inferential statistics. Inferential statistics is just a fancy word how to say uh, sort of getting a knowledge out of the raw data. And these softwares can be maybe Excel, maybe Minitab, maybe Stata, maybe R, but there are of course some more. But if you are going for quantitative research design, be prepared that you are going to use some such software. Now let's move on to qualitative research design. This research design works very well with inductive and abductive approach. Now why is it so? Because as quantitative was connected with numbers, now qualitative is going to be connected with questions and sentences and words. So you are going to work more with these. And when you think about it, if you have inductive research approach, it will be quite easy for you uh, uh, to extract some new theories or some new knowledge out of some uh, qualitative answers to your questions. So it's as simple as that. If you are going for inductive approach, then you are most likely going to end up with a qualitative research. Now, um, in the previous paragraphs or the previous part of this video, I have mentioned to you that uh, 
Quantitative research is about examining relationships between variables. Now, qualitative research is about examining relationships between entities. And this is the main difference between these two. So if we are going for a qualitative research design, what those entities can be? Those entities can be, for instance, people. I can try to examine relationships between people or as entities can be understood groups of people, companies or some actors in the market. Government can be one entity, a company can be another entity. So you see, this is the biggest difference between these two research designs. Finally, you can go for what we call a multiple choice research design. There are many names for it, but I think you guess it correctly. We are going to use both quantitative and qualitative research design. Now, if you are a bachelor or master student, just don't go here. Things get really complex and complicated already from the early beginning. But if you still insist on listening about it, here it's what it looks like. As an example, what will happen is that you will have sort of two rounds of your research. In one round, you will use quantitative method and in the other round, you will use a qualitative method. So let's say that in the beginning, you take some theories and you try to evaluate them using quantitative techniques. Then you have some findings. But in the second round, you will take these findings and you will maybe discuss them during the interviews with some experts in the field. So the second round will be qualitative. Now, why is this so hard? Well, you have to position yourself very well in all of the methodological choices. So basically, if you are using both of these designs, you will have double the amount of justification of why are you doing things the way you are doing them. Now, so that was about the quantitative and qualitative research design. And this is the right point when you should do your choice between these two.